All right, guys, welcome back to Liz Barbershop. Today, I'm gonna do the long-awaited uh, one-year review about opening up my first barbershop, my first business in general. But it's gonna be the one-year uh, insight, pretty much, on how it is to own and operate a barbershop. And, you know, hopefully this goes towards any other business that you own for the very first year. And I'm gonna give you guys the good, the bad, the pros and the cons. All right, so let's get right into it. So, I think I'm gonna start off with the bad. I'm gonna start off with the bad first. All right, so, for those that, that have been following my journey, you will know that I opened a barbershop January of 2020. So, I remember when I first opened the shop, at the grand opening, we had the grand opening on December 28th, and I remember I, I made a toast, and I was like, hey, you know, it's not just gonna be a new year, about to be a new decade, it's gonna be the best decade ever. You know, I was really like hyped and ready to see how everything gonna go. Um, as you, everybody should know, shortly a few months after, well, before a few months after, the, the talks of the coronavirus started coming along, which started making everybody a little bit nervous. And then eventually came, boom, the pandemic, the full lockdown, the global lockdown. So, that's pretty much the start of the bad about owning my very first business, you know, let alone a barbershop. So I remember like it was yesterday. So uh, March 21st, New York City uh, did their entire complete uh, shutdown. So if you're from New York City, you'll be you'll know exactly what happened. There was no movement out here like the first two months. It was a complete lockdown like the streets of new york was completely like empty everybody was scared there was a lot of death going on around here uh it just was a really trying time you know i didn't want to be selfish and really complain about my situation when a lot of people had it worse however it was very depressing for me still because i had just opened a business i kind of put like pretty much my life savings into this and it was just very depressing because i didn't know what was going to happen next i didn't know if we ever was going to come out of lockdown because Originally, it was supposed to be for two weeks, then two weeks turned to a month, then a month turned into two months, then three months, and pretty much it was just a very stressful time. And when I was on a lockdown, a lot of people was like reaching out for me, reaching out to me, asking me to cut their hair, and I didn't want to because I knew people that personally, I personally knew people that, that passed away, so I didn't, I didn't take it for a joke, I took it really serious, so I didn't want to do anything to cut anybody's hair. However, I did have people reach out and like literally donate money to me and I'm just so grateful for that to this day and really held me down. Um, in the meantime, I had to do like different things to make money and you know, keep stay above water. So I kind of like fell back into my photography uh, uh, talent, my, my photography gift that, you know, God bless me with. And I started doing a lot of editing for people during the pandemic and I didn't do any like photo jobs, but I was doing a lot of editing, a lot of graphic design, logo design, and that kind of helped me through the pandemic. Also, the bad thing was I had to pay rent for three months and didn't make a single dime, a single penny from the actual barbershop. So that was another struggle for me to actually kick out money, not knowing like what I'm gonna do to make this money back. And plus I didn't want to owe money because uh, Commercial real estate is pretty expensive when it comes to like rent. So I didn't want to be backed up in rent and got to have, you know, be in debt pretty much. And I didn't really, 
as much as everybody was out here getting a PPP loan and stimulus or uh, the other one, I forgot the other one name, I think it's E-L-I-D, whatever it was, I don't wanna say it wrong, but I didn't get that either. So I didn't really get anything to help me with this pandemic. Um, uh, that was pretty much most of the bad. So the good, the good came right after the pandemic. And I'm gonna get to that in a second. Um, I'm gonna give you some more bad about owning a, a business for the first year. I'm still operating as one barber to this entire barber shop. And it's, you know, it's been over a year now at this point and I'm still just one barber. I had another barber with me right out, out of the pandemic and that didn't last too long. But I learned a valuable lesson from that. I didn't really care too much about trying to hurry up and fill these seats because I didn't want to mess up anything I got going. So I'm, I'm trying to right now recruit instead of like, you know, putting out job applications out for people to pretty much try to come here and do interviews. I don't want to do that process tomorrow with recruit. And right now I'm in the process of recruiting a very, very dope, dope, dope dude. And I hope it all work out and you know, after I get him and, and you know, he starts to develop his craft a little bit more and also develop his clientele, then I will add another one and then build that uh, barber up, just like the previous one, and it will have like a solid foundation because I don't want this to be a revolving door. I care about this business and this barbershop and this craft way too much for me to have it like something of lesser value. So now, Let's get into the good. And I have to be honest, I have to be honest with you guys. There's plenty of it. All right, so the good is this, right? So right outside of the pandemic, soon as we were allowed to open the doors back up, I started seeing like an overflow of clientele that I only imagined of. What I pretty much thought it would be like if I did open my own business. I literally, as soon as the first day of business since March 20, I came back to business March 23rd, right? I have literally been booked all day, every single day since then. I've never had a slow day and to this day it's still shocking, but I take it. I take all this blessing from God, I take it. I take it all, I'm saying so. That's, that's the good, like I'm right now, I'm, I'm in a situation where I'm not pressed to get other barbers to work in here because I'm able to afford, you know, to keep this barbershop open um, with just me. Obviously, it's not the smartest thing because I have to make sure I'm always healthy and ready to go to work because if I can't come to work, then I don't make any money. So, you know, but I have to say like, I literally been, have been completely booked up and I know I'm way past due for this video, but it's cause I've honestly been extremely busy and that's a good reason not to put the video out, you know. Um, some more good is uh, I'm building a great reputation for this barbershop. My reviews are great. Um, pretty much everybody that comes in here just love the vibe, which is, Another good that comes from with just me just being in the barbershop, like it's just me and the clients and it's like a, a very personal one-on-one -on -one haircut in an entire shop. I think they they love that a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's something they're probably gonna have to get over once I start, you know, having barbers in here. So the good that comes out of now, me not having a bunch of barbers is the personal experience I give each and every one of my clients when they get in my chair. And I, I think they really appreciate that. Another good is that uh, I finally uh, dealt with the anxiety of dealing with taxes. So I was able to file my taxes for the first time as a business owner. And I did it under uh, an escort. So I have a great uh, CPA that hooked me up and showed me how to work an escort. And it was easy breezy. Like I paid my, my uh, I did my taxes and I don't put no numbers out there, but I was very happy with the outcome as a business owner that clocking every dollar, every cent, documented, you know what I'm saying? 
and I wanted to do that just to see like what the outcome would be if I did that and it's a great outcome like I don't understand why now I mean I do understand but I would say this if you a barber or anybody that's dealing with cash and you you kind of like hold yourself back from more success because you don't want to claim every dollar you make talk to a CPA they will they'll definitely hook you up I'm saying like it's, it's just a great feeling knowing I have the, the, the IRS and I did everything the legal way and I'm, I'm not strapped for money because I had to pay taxes you know what I'm saying and I also hired myself as an employee under my escort so I write myself a paycheck which looks good if I have to buy a home or do anything like a, you know anything that involves me having a steady income it's great for that so me having done my taxes for the first year was a beautiful experience. Um, some more good is that people are coming in the shop now and the shop is starting to develop a name. So I have to stop by and be like, oh wow, that's Lib Barber Shop. Or sometimes people will be on their phone and they'll be like, yo, I'm at Libs. That just sounds really dope. I also had my uh, shop appear on Google Maps finally. And the gate was up and it was open for business. So they get to see like the outside of the barbershop on Google Maps. And that's like, cool. I get the chills every time I see that. I'm saying it's pretty dope. That's, that's fly, man. Love it. Um, uh, so much good, man. I can go down the list. Um, uh, another good that comes from me is the confidence knowing that you can be self-sufficient as a business person. You don't have to uh, rely on an employer. So, that's really like a really good feeling knowing that you yourself will open a business you know I'm saying and just literally afford a living it's wonderful but the best thing that comes with owning a business in my life experience in this first year was just a uh, sheer peace and tranquility you get when you come into your own place it's like no stress no anxiety man it's just uh, it's priceless. It's priceless, man. Uh, I wish anybody who could open their own business just go ahead and do it, man. I know the fear of failure is like keeping a lot of people from doing this, but one thing I learned and I told myself this a long time ago is I'd rather live with the fear of failure than live with the fear of regret. I would regret if I didn't know what this feeling was like, so I just tried it and I don't, I don't regret it. And it's like, <laughs> Why not, man? Anybody I know that want to open a business, I'm always going to tell you, yes, do it. From what I experienced. So now, we're going to go into the pros versus the cons. So we're going to start off with the cons um, in my first year of business. So the con for me was, since it's just me as a barber, like, if I get sick, I just got to suck it up and show up because I can't just have the shop push pose at random times where it's supposed to be open if you would show up and it's not open. Although, if I did have to close it, I would put it on all platforms, Google, Facebook, Instagram, uh, wherever people could find me. I send out blast messages, let them know I won't be open. Um, that's, that's the con about being the only person in business, in your business. Like, you have to stick it out if you're sick. Like, one week I was sick, didn't have COVID, I got tested, I had a cold. And the same week I had a bad neck injury and I was at work like this, cutting hair. It's, I was suffering, it was so painful and I was sick at the same time. It was just like a dreadful week. And it was the first day of my work week. <clears throat> so I had to go through the whole week like that. That joint was really, really tough. And I was just like, man, it sucked. Saying, but if that's the worst part of my year, I'll take that. Um, Another con is like uh, when you start to build up like a steady clientele and you're booked up all the time, you have to make sure that you finish your appointments on time. Like you can't just be falling back. So you gotta have a steady uh, routine. You gotta get yourself going and you can't just mess that up. Like you gotta keep going, keep going. Make sure you finish everybody on time so that way you don't push into the next appointment. And when you do stuff like that, it makes your clients more, uh, they feel more confident coming to you because they know they can get in at the right time, leave at the right time, and it's like perfect for them. And they'll, they'll pay for that, they'll pay for the convenience, you know? Um, another uh, con is like, uh, if you do have to close, you gotta like, emergency close, you gotta refund all that money back because I do appointments, so I gotta refund everything back. 
Um, also, one of the cons was I took a vacation. I took a week's vacation. Uh, I cut my five days, closed my five days out, and added two days that I'm off front and back. So that was like nine days total. So for the five days I'm supposed to work that I'm on vacation, it's great, I'm on vacation. I get to call my vacations and stuff like that when I want to go or whatever. But the, the, the con about that is when you don't work, you don't get paid. So I just, whatever I will make for that week, just kiss that goodbye, because I'm not going to make that, I'm on vacation. So this is why it's also important to have several um, streams of income, which I will talk about that in another video. Um, I'm trying to scratch my head and really think of another con throughout my whole year, my first year in business. Ah. I would say that I'm constantly busy. I'm, I'm always busy, but if I'm not busy cutting hair, then I'm busy doing administrative work when I'm done working, you know? That's why I don't really upload too many videos, because I'm just always, always occupied. Um, that's pretty much some of the cons, and also having a lot of expenses. The more business you do, the more expenses you have. That's another con. All right, so let's go to the pros. So the pros is that you find peace, you find joy, you find happiness. You have uh, blessings that you are reminded of because you uh, have time on your hands when you do, because I control my time, right? I, I work, work nine hours a day with an hour lunch break and I'm off two days out of the week. That's Sundays and Mondays, so I control of my life, like, it's a wonderful feeling, like, why you wouldn't do it, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've been uh, exploring some more, like, no, not exploring, but like, colliding, like, collaborating my talents together, so I've been doing a lot more photography with my barbering now, so I'm trying to, you know, put that together. Um, I don't know, like, oh, I had, I had two interns with me and they like my assistants and they help me like clean up the place, run my errands, take care of client issues. Like it's dope, um, which I got from the city. So I didn't pay for them. the city pays them to work in, in, the, uh, in other businesses. It's under a program, but that was pretty dope. Um, man, like I just, the pros is literally like, you, you just literally, I don't know, like, it's just such a good feeling, man. That's the pros, man. All I said, it's a good feeling to open your business. The pros is you come here, you love, if you if you love what you do, you never, you're not really working. That's what you're saying. Like, I haven't worked in a year and a half. That's how good it is. Like, I highly recommend if you open your business, I highly recommend, one, you do something that you're really good at, that you enjoy doing, and that you study the business side out of it, like, down to the T. I highly recommend that and you will not regret it. Everything going to take off because you work hard for it and you know what you're doing. So this is L from Liz Barbershop and this is my one year review. See you guys next time. And if there's anything that you guys want to ask me or you want me to do a video on, just please leave it in the comment section. Uh, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to have more stuff coming soon. Um, hit that notification button. Share, especially to people that you know that want to open a business, share these videos to them um, and like, right? Peace.